Magandang araw, oras na para sa pinakabagong balita sa lagay ng panahon at sa mundo ng science and technology. Ako po si Jel Miranda and we welcome you to DOS TV, Science for the People. Alamin kung ano ang Food Innovation Center na dinevelop ng Department of Science and Technology upang makatulong sa pagbuo ng mga bago at innovative na produkto na may pagmamalaki sa lokal at international na merkado. Dito lamang sa Sinesyensya. Uh, we knew each other in, back in high school pa. Hindi pa kami on lang. We were classmates in college for a few semesters. After college, when we started working, we went our separate ways. I had my life, and she had hers. Nung masabi kong tapos na ako sa pagkabinata, naghanap na ako ng gusto kong magiging partner. Gusto ko nang magsettle. Then I realized that kilala ko lang pala yung ating mamahal. Ah! FIC or yung tinatawag natin na Food Innovation Center isa to sa mga strategies ng, mga, ng Department of Science and Technology para matulungan yung ating mga food processing uh, industry dito sa Pilipinas. Nagsimula ito sa Davao. Ang Davao region kasi is considered the food basket of the country. Dito eh, um, we plant a lot of crops. No? na pwede natin gamitin for processing. And uh, we have ready supply of pineapples, uh, other fruits and vegetables, meat and fishery products na pwede i-process into value-added na mga produkto na pwede natin i-market, uh, not only locally but also uh, in the foreign uh, market. Now that I think about it, who, what started first, Laing or the marriage? Actually, Laing. Because yes. when he was courting me, he used to bring Laing cooked by his mom. Pinagpalit ako ng nanay ko sa Laing. <laughs> first, ang FIC kasi na-established para sa limang uh, hits equipment. Ito yung high-impact technology solution equipment. So, ang mga equipment na ito, ito yung uh, vacuum fryer, ito yung water retort, Tsaka meron tayong uh, spray dryer, tsaka freeze dryer. Ang objective natin, para yung mga entrepreneurs, small-scale entrepreneurs, will go directly sa kanila. Within their vicinity lang naman kasi yan, di ba? Instead na they coming, going to mas malayo pang lugar, kung ano yung malapit sa kanila FIC, doon sila pumunta para mag-conduct ng kanilang experimentations. What? Lachis is... Uh small restaurant. Our focus then was pastries and then we had some of our family favorites. And then a year after we opened, uh, Mats uh, started experimenting with laing and then we tried to introduce it and it was a big hit. The, the reason for, for choosing a university to be the partner of a FIC would be primarily because the, the institutions, the educational institutions, are the center of innovative uh, ideas. Ano? So what we would like is not only to, to capacitate the team, especially the staff of FIC, but to capacitate also and to harness 
the innovative uh, competencies of the SUCs. Ano? Here in Davao, we partnered with the Philippine Women's College. No? Kasi alam namin na ang PWC dito sa Davao eh, has a very good food research program. So with that, we can enhance no? and we can intensify our efforts on the development of food products in the region. FIC in Cagayan Valley is uh, a product of collaboration of the different stakeholders. We have the DOST, Cagayan State University, the micro, small, and medium entrepreneurs, and also we have other uh, players like uh, the Department of Agriculture and the non-government uh, organizations that we consider as partners. It's very tedious. It's all slow cooking. Uh, we had to, sometimes we had to source the gabi ourselves. We had to clean and dry and uh, sort the gabi ourselves. So the drying would take six days. The cooking would take four hours. He used to uh, extract the gata by hand before. Actually, ako lang and uh, I have two helpers at home. So, sila yung nagtutumutulong sa akin sa pag-prepare. When we were new, about, I think, three years ago, no, our staff have to undergo a lot of trainings. They have to be acquainted with, uh, well, in relation to the use of the equipment. And then, at that time, we have no customers. Uh, we haven't uh, discovered yet the need for uh, the Food Innovation Center in Region 2. There are several uh, challenges also as far as administration of the project is concerned. Resources is, well, it's an issue. We do not have uh, a direction. Ito yung mga nauna namin mga problema, no? But uh, along the way and uh, after three years, we are proud that ano, we were able to accomplish the objectives of the Food Innovation Center. After a year, we were able to develop uh, more than 100 products and uh, in the recently uh, concluded competition among the different FICs, we emerged as the best. Region 2 emerged as the best and, you know, this will help the Cagayan State University in delivering quality instruction, uh, more appropriate uh, research and development, uh, more uh, extension services to the community and uh, wise utilization of our resources. We got uh, an equipment that can produce 1,200 bottles a day. And after, when he started only with a pressure canner that was processing about 30 bottles. So I said, wow, I have to learn it. And when I get back to Davao, I will certainly embark on this venture. So pagbalik na pagbalik, wala pang one week, nasa DOST office na ako. Nagtatanong na ako, how can I bottle my lab? And that's where I was uh, asked to go to one person, one table, and then that table pointed me to another building, and that building pointed me to the FPIC. Yes. And that started it all. Nagdala ako ng samples, tinry namin sa water retort, and after that, I tried another set, another batch, and then from these samples, I balik sa for testing, for ster commercial sterility test, and it passed. Sabi ko, wow, kailangan ko na lang i-calibrate ko yung recipe mismo para lumambas yung sarap na gusto namin. Bottling will change all of that, and it, the product will be able to reach more people. The, the one thing that kept us from battling earlier was we did not have the equipment and we thought we had to buy our own equipment and we were not sure because it's not worth investing on something if we didn't know how to use it. So it was a very good opportunity when we learned that there's um, FIC here uh, because then we, we could play with the uh, equipment no, and our product. No? 
So it's a vacuum fryer that uh, our topmost product is the crispy pinakbet o yung crispy veggies. Sino pang mag-akala na yung isang sitaw na binibilang tayo sa palengke, pag duman pala dito, paglabas sa equipment, crisping-crispy siya at pwedeng kainin ng bata. Maski sino. Yung water retort naman is basically, ito yung malaking, uh, parang isang malaking pressure cooker. At lahat ng produkto, mapaulam man, parang mga canned goods, mga ready-to-eat foods na nasa food packs, pag dumaan dito at dumaan sa heat penetration test, yung shelf life niya magta-times 4 magta sa normal. So taon ang bibilangin natin at safe yung produkto na ito. Ang isang campus natin dito yung Gonzaga Campus. Maraming pinya doon. Nagdadala sila dito, sako-sako. Pag masyadong mababa ang presyo, they take advantage of that dinadala dito. So ina-extract natin yung juice. Then from the juice, of course, kailangan natin ng carrier tsaka natin pinapadaan sa spray dryer. At paglabas niya, powder. Pero ang magandang nagawa namin dito, would you, if you believe it, yung powdered honey. At kung produkto naman na local product dito, yung sabaw ng papaitan, na-convert na natin into a powder. Kariman ang pinapasok natin dito, mga fruits. Okay. Ang marami dito, yung pinya, mango. So, ipapasok natin sa freeze dryer. For, after 24 hours, paglabas niya, it has the same texture, it has the same nutrients. So, ang shelf life matagal. Of course, pwede rin ito sa meat, sa meat products. Ganun din ang proseso. Right now, uh, one of the things that we are doing in the FIC is that all the products that, uh, that we have developed, meron kaming seal. We, we, we call it the, the, the seal of FIC. It means that when you acquire the seal, when your product has the seal, it means that it, it went through a process of uh, food safety. By having the seal, then you can be assured na maganda yung uh, iyong produkto. Uh, ang purpose actually ng mga, ng mga equipment natin dito, parang engano sila to innovate, experiment on uh, the, the food products. We don't encourage them na immediately they buy the equipment. Once they really firm up na talaga, uh, kikita sila sa produkto na dinevelop na, then uh, they could uh, approach us for the uh, maring scale up, palakin yung equipment or pwede rin natin palitin. We will design the right equipment for them. Actually, hindi lang yung equipment ang malaking tulong sa atin. I learned a lot from the small talks I have with the staff. Sa FPIC and the one in somewhere in Manito, sa SPMC, yung head office ninyo. They, they, they mentioned they have funding, they can help in labeling, they can help in packaging. No, they can help in linking us with DPI perhaps or, or FDA and that alone is a big help already. No? It's a one-shop thing at the OST. Tanongin ko lang, ah, they, they have some answers or they have the answer. FIC will always be part of the history of the bottle lying because this is where it all began. You know, as we're still perfecting the process and as we go along I'm sure we'll still need the services of FIC. We're very happy that Davao is among the places where there's FIC. Otherwise I, I cannot imagine how we can do it uh, ourselves. No? Malaki ang sa tingin ko ang future ng FIC. We want uh, this to be deployed in all uh, municipalities, uh, if possible, no? Well, ultimately, this will result to economic gains, no, for the people. Kasi pag nakadevelop nga tayo ng mga technologies, food processed food technologies, na nai-transfer natin sa private sector, sa mga tao, and na-commercialize nila, this will accrue to their benefit. One, uh, another reason for the existence of FIC in Region 2 is for us to help the region in maybe developing more than 500 new products which will be marketable for uh, no, marketable in the Philippines and also uh, other ASEAN countries and 
the entire world. Gusto namin na ang produkto ng Food Innovation Center ng Region 2 ay makaabot hanggang uh, America, Europe, and other ASEAN neighboring uh, countries. Nagbabalik po ang DOS-TV Science for the People. Alamin ang latest update sa lagay ng panahon ngayong araw mula sa DOST Pag-asa dito sa aming weather update. Magandang umaga, ako po si Ariel Rojas. Ngayon ay Webes, January 11, 2018 at narito may lagay ng panahon sa susunod na 24 oras. Dalawang weather systems na nakaka-apekto ngayon sa ating bansa, ang tail end ng cold front at siya magadala ng mga pag-ulan sa Bicol Region at sa Eastern Visayas at ang northeast monsoon o yung hanging amihan na nakaka-apekto po sa northern at central Luzon. Dahil sa epekto ng tail end ng cold front, pagkakaroon ng kalat-kalat na mga pag-ulan at thunderstorms ang buong Kabikulan, ang Quezon Province at ang Mindoro Island. Magkakaroon naman ng kalat-kalat na mga pag-ulan uh, dito sa Cagayan Valley, Cordillera at Aurora Province dahil sa epekto ng northeast monsoon o hanging amihan. Dito sa Metro Manila, sa ibang bahagi ng Calabar Zone, Central Luzon at ang buong Ilocos Region, magkakaroon tayo ng fair weather maliban sa isolated light rains dahil pa rin sa epekto ng northeast monsoon o hanging amihan. At ang buong Mimaropa ay magkakaroon po ng fair weather maliban sa isolated light rains dahil sa localized thunderstorms. Ang agot ng temperatura ngayong araw sa Metro Manila ay 23 to 30 degrees Celsius sa Tagaytay, 21 to 27 degrees Celsius sa Baguio City, 15 to 23 degrees Celsius sa Lawag, 24 to 29 degrees Celsius sa Tugaygaraw, 23 to 25 degrees Celsius at sa Legaspi, 26 to 30 degrees Celsius. Magiging maganda rin po ang lagay ng panahon sa Palawan maliban sa isolated uh, rains dahil pa rin sa epekto ng localized thunderstorms. At ang agwat ng temperatura sa Puerto Princesa ay 25 to 31 degrees Celsius. Dahil din sa epekto ng tail end ng cold front, magkakaroon po ng kalat-kalat na mga pag-ulan at thunderstorms ang buong eastern Visayas. Samantala ang nalalabing bahagi ng Visayas dito sa Bohol, Cebu, Siquijor, Negros, Guimaras, Panay at sa Boracay, magkakaroon po ng fair weather maliban sa uh, isolated rain showers dahil sa localized thunderstorms. At ang agwat ng temperatura sa Iloilo ay 25 to 29 degrees Celsius, sa Cebu City 24 to 31 degrees Celsius at sa Tacloban 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. Celsius. Magiging maganda rin ang lagay ng panahon sa Mindanao uh, maliban sa isolated rain showers dahil sa epekto ng localized thunderstorms. At ang agwat ng temperatura sa Gayan de Oro at sa Davao City ay 23 to 32 degrees Celsius at sa Zamboanga City 24 to 33 degrees Celsius. Dahil po sa muling paglakas ng uh, hanging amihan o northeast monsoon, mas maraming lugar ang nakataas ang gale warning. Ang mga malilit na mga sasakyang pandagat ay hindi po pinapayagang pumalaot dahil ang karagatan ay magiging maalon hanggang sa napakaalon. Nakataas po ang ating gale warning sa mga baybayin ng Pangasinan, La Union, Ilocos Sur, Ilocos Norte, Batanes, Babuyan Group of Islands, Cagayan, Isabela, Aurora, silangang baybayin ng Quezon kasama na ang Pulilyo at Alabat Islands, hilagang baybayin ng Camarines Provinces at Katanduanes. Ngayon papasok po na weekend, magiging maganda ang panahon dito sa Metro Manila maliban sa isolated rains dahil sa epekto ng northeast monsoon at ang agwat ng temperatura ay mula 23 hanggang 30 degrees Celsius. Magkakaroon naman ang kalat-kalat ng mga pag-ulan sa Baguio City ngayong Biyernes at Sabado dahil pa rin sa epekto ng hanging amihan pero pagating ng linggo gaganda na po ang panahon maliban sa isolated light rains dahil pa rin sa epekto ng hanging amihan at ang agwat ng temperatura ay mula 14 hanggang 22 degrees Celsius. Magiging maulan naman ang Webes or ang Biyernes at ang Sabado dito sa Metro Cebu dahil po sa pagbaba ng tail end ng cold front. Samantalang pagating ng linggo, mas gaganda na ang panahon maliban sa isolated thunderstorms. At ang agwat ng temperatura, temperatura ay mula 25 hanggang 31 degrees Celsius. 
Dahil din sa pagbaba ng tail end ng cold front, magiging maulan ang weekend sa Davao City at ang agwat ng temperatura ay mula 25 hanggang 31 degrees Celsius. Ang araw po ay sumikat ka ng 624 ng umaga at lulubog mamayang 544 ng hapon. Para po sa latest weather updates, i-follow lang kami sa aming official Facebook at Twitter accounts, DOST underscore Pag-asa. Mag-subscribe sa aming official YouTube channel, DOST dash Pag-asa Weather Report. At para sa mas kompletong informasyon, pumunta sa aming website, www.pagasa.dost.gov.ph. At yan po ang latest mula sa Pag-asa Forecasting Center. Ako po si Ariel Rojas. Magandang umaga. DOST TV would like to thank Filipino Creazione de Mano Incorporated. Visit their showroom at Ground Floor Lobby, PSM BFI Building, 318 Santon Road, West Crame, San Juan City. CITAV, the world's leading source of reliable and authoritative news, views, and analysis on information about science and technology for global development. Visit their website at www.citav.net. And that's it for today. For more information, just log on to www.dostv.ph and visit our social media accounts. Abangan din ang updates sa lagay ng panahon mula sa DOST Pag-asa tuwing alas 5 ng umaga at alas 5 ng hapon. Always remember, in progress, science is the key kaya sabay-sabay tayong makiisa at gamitin ang siyensya. Kami ang DOST TV, the program that delivers science for the people.